G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a cool counting problem for high schoolers. It goes as follows. Pat wants to buy four donuts from an ample supply of three types of donuts, uh, glazed, chocolate, and powdered. How many different selections are possible? Okay, so let me take this in. So Pat wants to buy four donuts from a supply of glazed donuts, chocolate donuts, powdered donuts, and there are plenty of each. That's what ample supply means. Okay, so for example, uh, four donuts. Pat could say take two glazed donuts, one chocolate, and one powdered. Four donuts like that. Or Pat could do, I don't know, no glazed, four chocolates, and no powdered. Or, you know, he could say keep going, two glazed, two chocolates, and again, no powdered, and so on. How many different ways are possible? So I guess we wanted to list all the possibilities we could have. If I kept this list going, how many lines would this list have take? Oh, that seems hard. Okay, I'm going to let you in on something. I'm actually a very visual person. I really like to think in terms of pictures. In fact, I think of pictures whenever I can. And right now, I have a picture in my mind. So, strategy number four, draw a picture. To me, this really is a picture of some donut shop with three shelves. One for glazed, one for chocolate, one for powdered donuts. So, to me, this very first solution is a picture like two donuts from the glazed shelf, one donut from the uh, chocolate shelf and one donut from the powdered shelf. So I've got these bars to me are the lines for the shelves. Or the second solution is, well here are my two shelves, well three shelves with two bars, uh, no glazed, four chocolate and no powdered. Or the third solution I've got here is two glazed, two chocolate and no powdered. So to me every solution, every possibility is actually a picture. It's a picture of what four dots and two bars. Now, just to make sure, I'll draw the picture first. Maybe I'll draw this picture. And what's that a solution to? Well, that says one glazed, one chocolate, two powdered. So every picture is a solution, every solution is a picture. Ah, so all I have to do is count pictures. So my question in my mind is now, how many pictures are there of four dots and two bars in a row? That I feel like I can handle. So I'm feeling a little smug right now because I've actually I think I've got the answer in my head. So think about it too. Wait for that epiphany. Is there a way to count how many ways can I draw a picture of six things, two of which are bars and four of which are dots? And that would be the solution to this puzzle. So mull on it too and see if my brain is working correctly. See if we get the same answer by checking the essay that goes with this video. This is kind of cool. I like this. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.